Welcome to the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck. And in today's video, we're gonna be installing the concession window. I'm kind of skipping around on this new trailer because it was funny, I looked back at one of my videos because I was actually trying to look at the measurements for the window that I just put up. And I was talking about how hot it was. And now I'm talking about how cold it's going to be. So right now, the day is beautiful, it's perfect to be able to install the window. I don't have the window yet, it's on the way here, but I'm gonna cut the window out, I'm gonna frame it out, make sure I put the insulation, and I'm gonna tarp it off, that way when the window comes in, probably next week, I'll just slap it on and it's ready to rock and roll, but at least I'll have the window cut, I can put the, the two exterior lights and everything there. But for now, I'm getting the measurements that I need to install the concession window on the new trailer. So as I said, we're moving quick on this one, super duper quick, quicker than all the other ones that I've done. And we're gonna get this measurement right here that I need. I... So there it is. Actually, the measurement goes from the outside lip right here because this has to fit in through the opening of the window. So it's 77, exactly as I had uh, written down from the video that I watched on myself, 77 is this measurement right there. And the other one should be 31 and 7 eighths right around there. 31, eh, pretty close, 31 three quarter. And then the height, the height because of the tables at the bottom, if I go to the floor there, to the top, I should be at 35 and a quarter. Pretty good. So that table is gonna fit perfectly right there because it says I need 35 and a quarter. So it's gonna fit really snug in there. So that's exactly the measurements that I need. Now let's go lay it out on the new trailer and cut that out so we can be ready to install next week. But there it is, that's what we're working on today. Cutting out this window, putting the framing right around here, all the insulation, rerouting a trailer wire that's right there. We're gonna run it around like this. Exactly like you guys saw on the other video. I'm gonna try to link that video actually with this one so um, you guys can have a better view because on the other one, I think I explained it a little bit more detail. This one's gonna be pretty brief. As you can see here on this new trailer, there's nothing there marked out yet, but in a couple hours, this will be one big hole that we're just gonna tarp off. So I just wanted to show you the before, that way you guys don't think that, that I'm cheating, <laughs> that I have uh, some markings out that are already there. So that's the outside. And then here's that hood that we have up on the zip wall legs here's the inside as you can see nothing there nothing marked everything is fresh and i'm going to be able to mark all this out and get it ready to rock and roll in the next couple hours knock that piece of plywood out brace it up and then cut the outside skin and be ready to install the window when it arrives at some point today probably next week so since we have this one cut out already we can kind of cheat a little bit and get some measurements. So if I go from the edge of the trailer right there, if I get it and I go to my window where it starts, I'm at about 16 inches. And if I go to the other side of the window, I'm at 96, 16 and 96. I already measured it, so I already know what it is. So it's 16 on the left side and then 96 on this side. And I know based on my video that I watched that this lip measures an inch and a half. So there it is. So if I go 96, 16, take out an inch and a half on each side, that'll give me the exact clearance of the studs. And I'll just verify that, make sure that we're okay. Thank you again for watching the video, for subscribing on this DIY series, How to Build Your Food Truck with me, Frank Baltieres. We're step by step. We're going to convert this trailer that you see here into a full kitchen on wheels with a seven foot hood a concession window, propane line, sinks, all that fun stuff that comes with the kitchen. Uh, again, this concession window, I bought it from JR Aluminum. The style is 23X. If you look on their website, that's the one that I have specifically. They have many others, but that's the one I have continuously used because it has a slider on one side and then up and down on the other. Right here, we're using the Milwaukee multi-tool with the wood blade to be able to cut this plywood. And then on the other side, I use a right angle cutter with the metal cutoff wheel to cut the metal side. That's pretty much what I use like for stainless steel and stuff. For the FRP that I'm gonna be using on the trailer, I don't know what kind of blade I'm gonna use yet. I did buy a Dremel and I did buy another um, circular saw blade with a lot of teeth on it. So we're gonna see which one works the best. I don't know which one yet. 
two things you want to make sure of here. One, you want to make sure that it's level, that you are accurate on your measurements because once you cut this, you don't want to mess up because then you'll mess up the exterior, the inside. So you want to just make sure you double check all your measurements, wear your safety goggles when you're cutting the metal. That's the second part. And uh, be cautious when you are cutting around metal as these sparks will fly all over and you don't want it to get caught in your eye. Ta-da, all cut out, let's move on. So now that we cut the window in, look at that. All in a day's work, as they say. We have to do a couple more things. One is that there's this trailer wire right there, and I knew it was there because it feeds this side marker light right there for the trailer. We have to just move it around to be able to, to kind of go and still work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this wire right around here. It can be anywhere, but I'm gonna cut it right there. I don't wanna cut it yet because it might fall into that hole. And then I'm gonna connect it. I drill the hole right there on the side. If you guys can see it, let me see if I can kind of focus in right there. And I use my right angle attachment on my impact driver, that little yellow one right there. Beautiful little tool right there. And then I, I'm gonna run this wire around, around, and then I drill another hole right there and that's gonna connect right there. So I'm gonna connect those two with two wire nuts that you see right there and that's gonna take care of that and then I'm gonna use this one by this is a true one by so it's exactly one inch from there to there and I am going to reinforce all this right here I'm gonna put them across just like this boom 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 and I'm also gonna put some insulation you can see the roll right there I'm gonna stuff that down into those little cavities so it can be nice and insulated this is the only place of the trailer that I kind of insulate since it's already cut open. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna put that one by up here too. And then I'm just gonna wait for the window to come in. Just wanted to kind of give you the update on what's going on there because we have to finish this window today. So we're gonna cut this green wire, which is that trailer marker, extend it using this one. This is actually a yellow wire that was on a light right here. The same thing on that trailer light, the 12 volt one. But we're gonna take that off anyways. So that is the update on the status of the window. What I used here is R13 faced insulation and then I just took it off the, the face right there and I just picked this up at the local Home Depot so you can pick that up or at your local hardware store. I'm moving right along to the next part of the exterior side which is the exterior lights that we're gonna put. We're gonna put one right here on the right side and then one right there on the left side of the window whenever it shows up. And I'm using the exact same ones that I use on my other uh, trailer. These are integrated LED lights. This is the bracket that goes in the back right there. And now I know that I have to take this off so I can put that glass that's back here, which is this part right here, right in here. So you have to take this back part out first, which is the four screws right there, and then put that in. And then we're gonna measure this to be able to fit right there and exactly what that measures over there probably eight and a half from the window same thing over here and that'll be what we do today and trying to complete that sow cable that we ran yesterday and also one more thing i'm going to install the power inlet box the 50 amp one on the wire the hole that i cut right there i put this rubber tape right there just so it stays protected this is that cable that i'm using six three is the gauge six gauge three conductor and then we're going to put the power inlet box right there i think that'll wrap it up for today there were this right here is basically the measurement that we're going to need so from the top of the fixture which is this right here you can see there this side up so from the top of the fixture on the top right to that screw which is right there because that holds our mounting bracket is kind of what we want to have equal on both fixtures so whatever the measurement is from right here to right there is what matters the most because we want to keep it equal on the left and the right that way one light is not up and the other one's down they're both asymmetrical on either side of the window so make sure that that is how you do your lights if you want to keep them the same height on both sides of the window as well here on the lights you want to double check your measurements so they're equal on both sides of the window on this particular trailer all i'm going to use is 14.2 Romax. I'm not going to use the 14.3. So you can buy, I would say about 100 feet, maybe less is what you would use on this trailer. 
Um, just know that I'll link that here in the description. So 14.2 Romex is what I use because I run it in between the walls. So when you're installing these exterior lights on your trailer or your truck, on the left hand most light typically is where I like to do it because it's less um, noticeable. You wanna take a quarter inch drill bit roughly and then you wanna drill a hole at an angle and that's where your rope light is going to go. If you guys can see my rope light is right there. That's gonna go right there and it's gonna feed off the same switch. Typically before I had them switched separate but I'm gonna do it at the same time now because when you have your exterior lights on Usually you want your rope lights and your exterior lights on. So I'm going to do them both at the same time. So that's how I'm going to run this. It's just a quarter inch drill bit. And then we're going to run that wire through there. And then we're going to silicone, as you can see right there, all to the outside. On this next part here, you want to make sure you buy the best silicone you can buy. The one that doesn't crack because this is going to be exposed to the elements. You're going to silicone around the window or on the lights. Everywhere that is exposed that you cut. You just want to make sure that you get a nice seal that way you don't get any water so picked up my window delivery my two concession windows with the two shelves man they do know how to package these up nice look at this, this is some quality pallet work that they do at jr aluminum they always do some quality work at jr aluminum now comes the great unveiling we're gonna untarp it uh, and we're gonna be able to install the window first we want to take it off the pallet they secure it really nicely over from JR Aluminum. So you want to make sure you take it out and don't scratch it. But it should be pretty, pretty nice. This is the first time I had it shipped to me. And I cannot complain on how they shipped it. And get an extra set of hands when you're installing it because it's a little bit heavy. So you want to make sure that you get it right the first time. Now that I have it installed, now I can run my rope lights. It's a 24 foot LED tape light with the remote. That's what I use here. And then once I put it all around the window, I'm going to silicone it. Again, that's it for this video. Make sure you stay subscribed to the next one because we're going to be putting the floor and then the walls and the ceilings. Thanks again. Frank Baltiras, How to Build Your Food Truck.